What is up guys and welcome to another video. Today I've got another money method to show you guys on Red Dead Online that can make you a lot of money. We are doing fishing yet again and as you can see as I turn around just there, there are a lot of fish. There's a lot of bubbles to signify that there are fish in this water. There's obviously a lot of bubbles from the waterfall as well but weirdly enough the majority of them is from the fish because there are a lot in this location and a lot will spawn in. We are currently in this location just here. You can see with the roads it goes into like a triangle and we are just to the right of that, to the left of Valentine as well. I actually came past this sort of spot here, going to this fishing method over here that we did a couple days ago. As I was riding past my horse, we went across, across this river here and then as I went round this bend here, a lot of fish seemed to spawn in in a short amount of time. So I thought I would definitely come back to do a bit of fishing. Now, the trickiest thing with this location is actually getting the fish and what I mean by that is finding a good spot to go and uh, get your fishing rod out to go and chuck it because every time I come to this area just here or stand on this rock which seems like a good place what happens is I can't throw my fishing line far enough which means I cannot reel it in past the fish and do my usual fishing method so uh, it's, a, it's a bit more awkward in that sense you can't really do it from that rock as well there sometimes these fish around here that sort of stand right beside this, uh, this where the current as in you can start seeing the current is probably the best fish to go for but we're gonna carry on trying as always with these fishing methods if you want to say get money carry on doing what I'm doing shoot the fish run back and forth go and just do normal fishing or what you can also do if you want to go for XP definitely just go and uh, and just chuck a stick of dynamite in to uh, to try and get yourself a decent amount of XP now I'm hoping one of these fish will come across because I can't do my reel in method right now. So we need to go, we're probably better off going for these fish just here. So uh, we're going to slowly reel this in and we should be able to, uh, to get some of these fish here. Okay, so this, I came to this spot on the other side of the river and this one is a bit better. It all depends on where the fish spawn. Normally when I come over here, all the fish spawn on that left side, so it's not too bad. But if you come to this, if the fish spawn on this right side, you're better off coming to this right side. So uh, what I do, and I say this quite a lot when fishing, is how I fish is you can't just chuck your fishing line right on top of the fish because sometimes that scares the fish and uh, it, it doesn't always work what you want to do I did not mean to do that I wanted my special spinner on but what you want to do is go and chuck your fishing line further than the fish and then slowly reel it into where the area that the fish are so we have a bit of a group just in front of us so what we're gonna do is try and throw our fishing line further than the, that little group in front of us so all the way to the waterfall which we get in there oh god that's all bugged out there okay did not like me throwing that into the waterfall but you want it just further than the group but not into the waterfall i guess and then uh, slowly reel that in till you've got a tight line and then slowly reel it past the group of fish now we're coming up and there we go that took about five seconds to go and get the fish now the types of fish that you're getting in here are rock bass pickerel uh, and blue gill and those all go for a dollar each apart from blue gill blue gill go for 75 cents but you're still making a decent amount of money from this area considering how close it is to valentine it does not take too long to go and uh, travel back to valentine we've been here for a bit trying to do this method we got a few fish and now we're going to travel back to valentine just to go and sell it and as you can see it's hardly anything there is no distance whatsoever but i'll be back in a sec okay we are back in valentine it did not take too long to go over here maybe like 50 seconds and that's it we're not gonna have too many fish as i didn't do that much fishing i just want to show you the locations that you can fish in red dead online so you got rock bass and chain pickle also in there there is blue gills blue gills don't go for too much but you should be able to go and get a full satchel of chain pickle and rock bass which means you're making about 20 dollars out of those Plus with uh, bluegill, you're probably going to make about $5 out of that, uh, which would be pretty decent. You don't always get a full satchel of bluegill. Do not know why it is. It, it, it's a weird one. Bluegill is the cheapest, but it also seems like one of the rarest when it comes to chain pickerel, rock bass, smallmouth bass, anything like that. 
it seems to be the rarest. So I don't know how they work out the prices for that or the spawning. It's, it's just kind of weird to me. But those are the only three fish that we've got. By doing this method, you'll probably have a full satchel of either chain pickerel or rock bass. It probably won't be both. And in bluegill, you'll probably get about five or six. But you should be able to make at least $20 within no time whatsoever. And the fact that it's fairly close to Valentine to the butchers makes this method pretty decent. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.